Hello and welcome to the video channel for whiskeyblogger.com. In this, the final of my three interviews in Ballykeef, distillery owner Morgan Ging gives us an exclusive preview of Ballykeef Distillery's very first whiskey release. Just seven single casks of triple distilled, single pot still Irish whiskey are being released and uniquely each cask is bottled at both 46% ABV and also a cask strength. This exclusive distillery first release will be available to buy online from the distillery in March 2021. Now prior to my visit, Morgan had sent me tasting samples of all seven casks at both 46 and at cask strength. Each of these seven casks, which were distilled and casked at the same time, produced quite different maturation results. Morgan explains why in this video and also discusses the unique Ballykeef Whiskey House style and explains how whiskey making is a blend of science and also the art of the distiller. Now, these unique whiskey pairings will be available to order online from the distillery uh, online shop in March 2021, and I'll include full details of how to reserve and buy these very exclusive bottles uh, at the end of this video. So these are the casts that we are, we are uh, for, that were laid down at the start, and there's seven of them in total that were laid down at the same time, and these are the ones we're going to release. So what we're actually doing is, is quite unique. We're going to release each cask as an individual cask. Yeah. And we're also going to release each cask at cask strength and at 46%. So you will get, you can purchase a bottle of cask strength and you can purchase a bottle at 46 so you can buy from the same cask. Okay, so you can buy parent and child really. Parent and child, yes. Yeah, I have to, okay, I have to let a little secret out here that you were kind enough to send me down your samples of each of them there. And what I was amazed at is the difference in character between the different casks. So all the one batch made over a close time period, but the difference in character from the different casks and what I was amazed at too was the, the ABVs of the cask strength ones, that they didn't follow a linear pattern, that some of the younger ones had actually matured faster than some of the older ones. And they all had something special, but the, the one thing that I noticed about them all, and it seems to be a belly teeth house, house style, is this wonderful kind of aniseed licorice uh, spiciness that, 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 that is there. Um, I purposely didn't say and to you on your previous visit here when I sent you samples about that to see, was it in my head or on my palate or would you pick it up? Yeah. Yes, that is something that is unique, very, very unique to belly Um it's, it's something that I like in a, in a spirit, and as it's, this is such a labor of love, I said I would put what I liked into a spirit and see would the world like what, what I like. Um, that is... But it's not the stills, it's not the shape of the stills, it's not the... It's, it's a combination of a lot of things, yeah. but it is also, a, a, it, we could nearly say it's 75% part of a, the way we brew here. Okay. And, and our transfer process from the Lautering ton to our fermenters. Well, what, what I've always loved about whiskey, and I say this often in my articles, is that obviously we've just discussed all the science and the engineering that goes in here, <clears throat> but it's the art, and it's the it's the whiskey maker, it's the difference in a cask, the difference in a copper still, the difference in a fermentation, the difference in a mash, and all the science, everything is underlined by science, but it's the application of the science and all the different fermentations combinations that kind of make you know each kind of whiskey distillation unique and but when I see a common thread going through I saw all the different casks obviously that's to do with the art but I think also part of the art is this consistency that's coming from a combination of all these moving parts so there is some consistency there you have some sort of secret sauce that it's a secret yeah it's it's a secret okay we'll have to respect that but definitely I was kind of relieved. I thought I was going a little bit funny. But yeah, I think we've identified the Valley Keef house. Well, that's two of us relieved. I'm delighted you picked up on it. Yeah. And you were delighted that it actually it is there. Okay. But for me, the uniqueness then in some of the flavor profiles, like that, that distillate was all blended at the same time. Those seven casts were blended here in this all at the same time. Yeah. Those casts were filled the same day. Yeah. But yet and all, you picked up on all the different notes that were each cask and out. Out. And what, yeah. Yeah, and what, we've, what we found here as well is that we're, we're losing a higher share to the angel share yes. because the casts are stored here in the distillery and with the temperature of the stills raising the temperature in the atmosphere here in the air here in the distillery, the maturation process we're finding has been speeded up. Yeah. 
So we're, we're losing more to the end of share, but we're increasing the speed in which the maturation is, is happening. So our spirit then is, is much more matured than you would think it would be. That's what, what occurred to me, all right. I thought there might be one little warm corner for two of those casks uh, here. And, uh, but I just thought it was fascinating just to see the different flavours. Hmm. And obviously that's going to be something that collectors would love. That, you know, first of all, that you can buy a cask for cask strength version and a drinking version at 46%. 46, 46 yeah. 46, but that uh, you have those. But I think, I think there's going to be collectors that are going to buy 14, you know, of, of, so that they have the, the entire... Uh, the, the entire set. Cards, yeah, yes. the entire set. Because we're not releasing that, that many. There's one cask there and, you know, it, it, there was a lot of evaporation from it, maybe a little leak. There's another cast there, and it was a little bit more in it than that. But, you know, so some of the casts, there, there's going to be a shortage of liquid as such in bottles. So um, if collectors are looking for it, they need to contact us and let us know that we can put their names on those rather than uh, and to be short. And through your website? Or through our or website, yes. Ballykeef? Ballykeefdistillery.ie. .ie. .ie. Okay, let's have a look at that whiskey. So exactly. this is your own bottle machine. You, everything is done on site here. You bottle your own whiskey on site. Everything is done. All, all Ballykeef bottles are filled here with yeah. this little machine. And we cork it, closure, label, and we also box it here. We do everything here at hand. So it's usually in the evening time or the weekends when the family's home, we get together out here and we will bottle what we have to do. So it's a real family business. Yes, this is the combination of five years' work. We're partnered with Kenny Crystal. Yeah who designed and hand cut these crystal glasses for us, okay. specifically for Ballykeef, with our branding on it. This is our, as you saw, our, our spirit, our whiskey. And we're also giving a, a little brochure of what about us in it. Okay. And to top it off, we will do a certificate of authenticity, which will state the cast number, the bottle number, and the ABV signed by myself. I'd like to thank Morgan and his team for showing me around Ballykeef Distillery and also for taking time to record these fascinating interviews. If you'd like to order one of their first release of 500 cask strength single pot still uh, bottles, contact the distillery directly at ballykeefdistillery.ie. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my whiskey blogger channels on YouTube and Vimeo. And you can also catch up on the latest whiskey news and stories from around the world at whiskeyblogger.com. And you can also follow me on social media at whiskeyblogger. Until then, thanks for watching and starting from students.